to Gusto News once again. Thank you so much for always liking, sharing, subscribing, telling your friends about what we do right here at Gusto TV. Thank you so much for 2020. Thank you so much for 2021 that we've started already. Thank you so much for the support, for always liking, sharing, clicking on our videos, and of course, referring to your friends. We love you, and we will continue to give you the very best of entertainment news today. On the news, we have something for you about OBO, Davido, Baba Ifiani, Baba Hili, Baba Imade, Okochioma. The OBO himself, the baddest Davido, is in the news. We also have something for you about Hush Poppy and Woodbury alongside Special Spech. Yes, they're telling us something. Also, Kiss Daniel is in the news as well. All of that and many more we will bring to you. But guys, let us start by telling you guys that COVID-19 is truly, truly real out there. Please stay safe. Protect yourself, your family. Do not go to crowded places. Avoid crowded places. Please always wear your mask all the time. Yes, starting the news today with OBO, Davido. Yes, Davido is a man that has a lot, a lot of female fans, a lot of male fans as well. And of course, he's been getting a lot of love, also hate in some parts. One thing that has constantly you know, been on everyone's lips about Davido is the fact that, oh, this guy got his career on a platter of gold, he has all the money, his father had money, came from America and everything. Even Davido himself has said he had a student in, in, in America and of course the likes of the band and Don Jazzy always come through. At that time, he had to leave school and came to Nigeria and started his, started his music. Remember 2012, Davido's very first uh, music video, of course, first music was that one back when witnessed to see everyone love that particular one, then Damiduro, then the whole career just blew up. Now, Davido is still in the game right now and he's still doing really big things. Fame came out last year, was one of the biggest songs of the year. Of course, right now, we're getting to know that, okay, Tule might just drop or even that one, Lala, of the A Better Time album. Three major albums for Davido and of course, he's really, really doing well. Now, another fan has come on Twitter to say something which Davido has responded to. Now, the fan came out and said, Davido is a guy that, you know, cannot be said, oh, he has one, you know, sufferness or something. He came in with a hit. He does not really have a I don't suffer story or something. Guy just came in with a hit and of course, everything blew up from there. Davido has come out to refute that claim right now. And I said, guy, that is not true at all. In this music game, me too, don't suffer my own Part of the sofa and everything. I was at the Mohit house for guys. Wait for it. Davido said he was at the Mohit house under the band, under Don Jazzy, under one the call at that time for one full year. So what exactly was Davido doing there? Was he doing apprenticeship, or he was doing boy boy, or he was doing the you know studio rap? What exactly was Davido doing for one year? So Davido said, guy, everybody has a story. I have my own story as well. I suffered. Before I became the David that you know today, I was with Don Jazzy and the band as mentors at that time for one good year before I set out with that one back when featuring Neto C. Guys, David has a shocking revelation to make and that is that. Guy, everybody has a really, really good, you know, everybody has a grass to great story and that's David own, right? Yeah. Let's move on to Kiss Daniel. Now, Kiss Daniel is one artist who is really talented, but a lot of people see him as, you know what, this guy is quite unstable. Yes, Kiss Daniel at that time with G-Word, where I came up with Woju and, you know, that one, you know, Laie. Everybody loved the fact that Kiss Daniel is a major, major artist. Moved to Flyboy and, of course, he's been doing really, really well since then. But one major issue people have with Kiss Daniel is that whenever he drops a song, he tends to move you know, a way fast, you know, from it. Very talented guy, but of course, character issues and everything. Now, Kiss Daniel, for the opt-in time, I can't count the number of times he's done this, but Kiss Daniel right now has done it again. Now, go into Kiss Daniel's Instagram page and you're going to find zero posts on it again. All over again, that has gotten social media agog once again. People saying, oh, this guy has started all over again, deleting pictures, and then he comes to post them back again, and then delete all of them again, and comes to post all of them again. People are saying, what exactly is the issue with Kiss Daniel, and why exactly does he keep doing all of this whole posting and deleting, posting and deleting that he does 
on his Instagram page. Is he about to release a new single? Maybe is he about to drop a big project? Maybe, but Kizane right now is in the Gambia to perform at a show this, you know, in the next coming, of, you know, next coming uh, days, Kiss Daniel is going to be performing for the people of Gambia. And that's really, really good to see. But yeah, when he comes back, he needs to fix the issue of always posting and deleting on Instagram. We pray and we hope that that <laughs> is going to really, really come very, very soon. Finally, Hush Poppy is in the news all over again. Now, we're having like a reaction here some days back and Lala actually made me understand that Special Spesh, one of Davido's, uh, you know, Teddy BG crew, his hype man actually, was careless in Ghana actually doing some shooting, you know, not just, you know, shooting, but shooting, not in the air, but directly at, you know, downwards and that's not good enough. Now, Hush Puppy in his recklessness has come out to talk again. Now, the issue, you know, there was an issue some hours ago with the US um, and the government, the Capitol building, Donald Trump, and of course, you know, um, Joe Biden, everyone talking about the Joe Biden, Donald Trump, what's going to happen, this and that, and all of that. And Special Spech, in a bid to actually be in the news, has called for Donald Trump to say, guy, before you leave that White House, before you come out, please, you need to release Osh Poppy and Woodbury. Now, what has the Capitol building thing got to do with Hush Puppy and Woodbury. Now, Hush Puppy and Woodbury were, you know, alleged first stars in Dubai who were arrested sometime June last year or July last year. And of course, ever since then, they've been in prison, moved them from Dubai, the FBI, you know, moved them from Dubai down to the US and they've been there, appeared in several courts. You know, there was a time they were represented by, you know, some lawyers from, you know, the US, from Chicago down to LA to like, They've been transferred in so many places. And right now, Woodbury has said, guys, it is really, really sad how the world moves on very quickly. Please release my guys, Hush Puppy and Woodbury, because of what? He couldn't even say why they should be released. Are they guilty or are they not guilty? He didn't say. He just wants them released. And social media, of course, as usual, have come really, really hard on him. I said, oh, God, try to use your sense very well these guys are still under investigation and if they are still under in under investigation then they should still be remanded you know in prison but guys osh puppy and woodbury just you know might be released if special special has his way is trump going to heed to special special request maybe he knows him maybe he doesn't know maybe he's going to pick his call later lati pick is called eventually <laughs> guys that's all we have for now on gusto news thank you so much for always liking and sharing subscribing and of course telling your friends and families about what we do right here at gusto tv we love you and we'll see you on the next one peace